please give a huge ovation for Chris Metzen. Goodness gracious, guys, it is awesome to be back here again with you this year. And I'm going to apologize up front as usual. I'm totally peaked. Oh, it is going to be okay. You know, as Rob was saying, it is such an amazing time to be part of this thing called Warcraft. With the feature film and development that... It's really good. At long last... With the debut of Hearthstone and all the ongoing development you know, that we're normally doing on the game. Uh, oh boy, this is one of those moments. Yeah, geek is. Geek is forgetting your lines. With all of these things in development, we have been thinking a lot about Warcraft, about what makes it tick, what makes it distinct. What is it about it after all these years, coming up on almost 19 years, we've been working on this thing. What keeps us coming back to it? What keeps it fresh for us? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, we've been thinking a lot about the early days. How many of you were around and with us during the events of Orcs and Humans? Really? All right, Tides of Darkness. And Beyond the Dark Portal. Guys, these original games, like this original trilogy of RTS games, it's, it's where it kind of all comes from. It's where the, the DNA of Warcraft to really predicate everything that's happening in the modern era of WoW. In many ways, they're kind of like the, uh, like the origin points for your factions. Alliance, you here? Horde, where are you at? Hey, Horde, check it out. Uh, just because you guys went and got yourselves a troll as a new war chief, it doesn't mean I ain't with you. Many miles to go. So as we're thinking about all those moments, all of the adventure that came back in the day, and I love to hear that many of you actually played those games, uh, you kind of stop to consider that there is a huge amount of World of Warcraft players that never lived those events, never met those characters, never really engaged with those storylines or that part of the adventure. And, you know, as we start thinking about where Warcraft goes, what are we doing, what are we working on, how are we pushing forward um, with this ongoing adventure, uh, man, you know, a lot of that content sure makes, sure makes the wheels turn. And ultimately, as many of you probably know, the modern story of Warcraft really begins about 30 years ago. 30 game years. Uh, ain't that old. Uh, when some knucklehead decided it would be a really good idea to open a dark portal between Azeroth and this dark, savage world called Draenor. And through that portal came an army of brutal demon pump savages that took the world right to the edge. Led by characters like Red T shirt guy. Damn it, not him. Led by characters like Black Hand and Kilrog. Nersu, Gul'dan, Hellscream. Some of the baddest dudes ever in the Warcraft franchise. These guys almost had their way. They almost conquered the entirety, well, then of the Eastern Kingdoms. And boy, if they had, history would have taken a very different turn. If not for the most unlikely thing happening. 
the races of Azeroth. Humans, we got any humans in the room? It's kind of a weird question to ask. Dwarves, where are you at? Sons of Cosmodon. We don't have any high elves in the room. High elf cosplayers? Couple. Gnomes, where are you at? Come on, we secretly love you. It's complicated. The various cultures of Azeroth, who were never fast friends, there was no love lost between them. They had no common heritage, they had no common history. They really didn't like each other down this stretch of years. But in the face of this onslaught, in response to these badass orc leaders, they came together. And they founded a union based on honor and righteousness and a deep-seated drive to dispense indiscriminate justice upon those who threatened their homelands. This alliance saved the world. Alliance, do you remember who you are? You are the Alliance of Lordera, champions of justice. And I love you for it. Damn it, you're the Captain America faction. And I love you for that. So what a trip. All those years, fictional, from then to now. Especially concluding, or including, the events of the Siege of Orgrimmar. Alliance, do you, do you get it yet? You remain the world's standing superpower. How does that feel? Don't worry, Horde. There is, there is honor to be served. Lotar. <laughs> so when you think about all that history and all that context, or when we think about it, a really interesting question comes to mind. We asked ourselves, well, what if those dark days could come again? What if a pantheon of the most vicious villains ever in Warcraft could threaten our homes, our lands, our way of life all over again? And in the face of that, Alliance, how would you respond now? There was a few suggestions. Can you guys repeat? I didn't... I didn't I know how you'd respond, with righteousness and honor, weapons primed. <sighs> the conflict to come, I believe, will be the Alliance's finest hour. The dark days ahead, will test you, your values, your ethics. How do you fight a savage enemy without remorse, without becoming savage yourself? It's a good question. And Horde. Horde, you're here, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Much better. Board, I'm taking some lumps lately, and not just from the Alliance. You had to live with the disappointment of Thrall's choices. I'd apologize for him, but we don't speak anymore. You had to live with the consequence of Garrosh's reign of terror. And you had a bunch of gnomes and elves running through the streets of your city. I can't imagine you enjoyed that a lot.
But in the face of all that, Horde, under the leadership of Vol'jin, you have a chance... <sighs> right on. You have a chance at a new start. A chance to redefine yourselves in this brave new world. <laughs> but as is often true, to forge a brighter future, sometimes you must confront the ghosts of the past. And I believe in the adventure to come, Horde, there will be honor to be served, and there will be asses to be kicked. There will be much heroism for all. So, are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you with me, BlizzCon? Yeah! Let's get this thing done. Friends, champions, fellow defenders of Azeroth, Blizzard is proud to present to you the next expansion set for World of Warcraft. We call it Warlords of Draenor! to the start, kinda. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that announcement. I imagine you have a lot of questions. We have a lot of answers. Don't worry, it all makes sense. So, guys, again, thank you for being here with us this weekend. It, 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 you'll never know what a thrill this is for us to be here with you and to share these games. <sighs> have fun this weekend. Take care of each other, have a blast. Uh, and if you have more questions, by the way, about Warlords of Draenor, I, I just love saying it. We're gonna have a panel at 12.30 on this stage. Uh, the dev team is gonna explain the whole giddy up to you. So come back at 12.30 if you're interested. And at the end of the day, welcome to BlizzCon! <laughs>